Welcome to the Beer Search Party. This is Sean Inman with you. Part three in our series of industrial water lagers. What most America drinks, which after the first two experiences is rather unfortunate because the first two were basically white, a lot of corn taste, uh, a lot of sweetness. Pretty much not what a great American lager is this lovely can suggests that it should be. Now, as you can see from this can, it is all about the marketing. You got the name, it's all big time logo driven here. So let's take a look. Oh, that was a bad, 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 bad pour. Bad, 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 bad pour. But, as you can see, another extremely light, near white beer. You can, this is the third one in a row that you can basically see through. Um, not necessarily that's a bad thing. Um, people have been telling, uh, well, beer professionals have been trying to tell people for quite a while now that color doesn't signify the flavor or the strength as much as it just says what the roast of the malt is and what the ingredients were basically. But this really tells you that it's see-through. Um, that means that the malts were very extremely lightly roasted or they didn't use too much of them and it could signify a whole other mess of things. That they've cleaned it out considerably, that they've done other things to it. But yeah, that is just, to me, this is a spooky color. Very spooky color. So let's take a whiff and a taste of this. Very sweet. That is virtually indistinguishable from the game day ice from a couple weeks ago. Um, I thought that actually after I did that review I thought wow I must have had this beer for too long because it seemed to have gone bad. After having the Coors Light and now this I know that those fears were unfounded. It's there is this is extremely bland. I sort of expected from Coors Light and from an ice beer previously that uh, I wouldn't be looking for much in the way of flavor. That these were basically alcohol, slight alcohol delivery devices with some sugar. Um, so I was sort of hoping that this Anheuser one would have at least a little more, but this is virtually indistinguishable from the Coors Light. Um, there just isn't much there. This is sweet. There's not even a nice carbonation kick out of this. I mean, this thing isn't moving. It is still water. To be quite honest, um, I was ex expecting a little more from this one, oddly enough, and it completely let me down. I mean, this is just... It's about 75% water with what tastes like a little bit of honey and the carbonation is practically zero. I mean, there's nothing in this beer that I could even recommend. I, I wouldn't recommend cooking with it. I mean, there's, it doesn't impart anything. I mean, I had a cup of water before and that had more flavor and it had already been through the water filter. Yeah, this has nothing. <laughs> Sad to say, sorry to report, but uh, it seems like all the uh, rumors are true. These beers are just not good. And yet, 
I will carry on. I have one more to do, and I haven't quite decided what the fourth of the macro industrial water logger is that I'll pick, but at this point I'm not holding out much hope. These are just in no way good. All right, well this is Sean from the Beer Search Party. Next month there will be better beers, but for now we're trying to figure out why 90% of the people drink this. All right, cheers. Bye.